Hi Fishbowl fans, this is Jean with Terabyte Solutions. Today we're going to be discussing how to fix our costs in Fishbowl. Now Fishbowl tracks our costing layers and one of the reports that we have written at Terabyte Solutions is this costing layers with transaction short source. So to run this properly, you need to have all dates. So the original intent of this report was for the FIFO, LIFO people to be able to look at their layers and see that their inventory was valued properly. I found it's a great report if I'm using standard cost so that I could put in a standard cost versus the cost that's in the system the, the, the costing layer that was created to calculate a difference so we can use this to adjust our standard costs in the future. We can also use this report if, you know, just, just by accident. Somebody issued a PO of a zero cost and by the time counting got there to reconcile it, it was too late. The, the goods had been used. So we can go and see those kinds of transactions to see if there's something we might need to fix manually. So the easiest cost in the world to fix is right here under the materials inventory screen. I can come in here and because this is an average cost file, I could come right here, look at my average cost, layers that made it up, and if there's a mistake, I can hit this little pencil right now and uh, let's say that should have been eleven dollars and that will revalue the inventory and it will send a costing adjustment to quickbooks on the next export the next easiest one to change is over here is would be standard cost because i have it sitting right here and all i have to do is change it Let's see what I have here. I have, hmm, on this guy, I have 1100 in stock, currently at 2,076. So why don't we make this 3,000? So it's a nice big change. Okay, save. And now let's go look at our adjustment reports. Okay, and so I have that adjustment. Now, the hard part is if you've selected LIFO or FIFO and you have a bad layer, you can't just fix the layer. You have to go through and cycle count out all of the, the inventory and then use add inventory with a cost to bring it back in. So let's pretend that this was a LIFO file, not an average cost file. And I needed to take these from being $7 a piece to being $8 a piece. So the first thing I would do, and we can do this with import exports as well, but I'm going to do the manual approach. So <clears throat> from here, I can just cycle count out that 505, new quantity zero. And I have to cycle count out this 1099 new quantity zero and then i'm going to go to the add inventory screen and i'm going to put it in shipping and i had 1099 plus 505 let's just call it call it 2400 for fun and now i can change my unit cost to eight dollars and that will revalue my inventory at my appropriate fifo cost because if i have a zero fifo layer when I go to sell that product, it will put in zero cost of goods sold for that sale, which is usually not a happy moment. So this is Jean's quick guide to fixing costs in fishbowl. Thank you very much for viewing this video. And uh, we at Terabyte Solutions are a full service fishbowl support firm. So we would like to help you with your fishbowl issues. Give us a ring at 949 six four five one zero one nine and we will be happy to help thank you very much bye